I'm in week five. So I didn't actually come for week four because a whole lot of stuff was going on. I'll talk about that in a little bit. I did shoot just a little bit after one of my acupunctures and this is it. I just got back from acupuncture. Actually, I've been back for like an hour and my tape is still on. This is how I'm able to speak a little better. I'm relaxed on my face. My hair is pulled back. I realized today that I pulled my hair back really tight and it kind of lifts my eye up a little. So I gotta match it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't do that because then you're gonna train the other one. Anyway, raise the eyebrow. They always tell me to look up in the ENT when I raise my eyebrow, so I'm gonna do that and look at it later. Close my eye. Okay, here's something else I learned. Look down. Close your eye. I don't, I don't think that works. <laughs> I feel like I have more, particularly here. That couldn't do that before. I swear that couldn't do that before. Let me try to whistle. Okay, I can whistle with my tongue. <laughs> Without that whistle. No, my tongue's taking over. Not yet. One day we're gonna whistle. So today is Thursday. I just came back from the ENT. It is my actual week five. And I also did some shooting for Eddie. And my eyes drive me crazy. Cause I didn't water it enough. Um, I wanted to come in and say that this will be the last week that I'm going to be posting this on the Izzy's. I'm going to move it now to my new channel that I started just for this. And the new channels is gonna be called My Face is Broken, or it is called, it should be up right now. I'll throw links everywhere so that you can go to it if you'd like to follow my journey. Let's go move it there. This whole thing, there's a silver lining to all of it. It's done something wonderful for me. It's made me slow down. <laughs> it's made me stop smell the roses. I'm not working as much and it's been very helpful for me. There's so many just positive, awesome things that have come in. Our family is closer, like, closer than ever and it was already close but it's just like uber close it's like we're inside of each other we have time for each other we're noticing each other we're loving on each other we're uh, being positive together and it's just been a really beautiful thing i'm learning a lot of stuff about myself too because weeks three four and five it's like crickets i'm on cruise control i got a hold of my pain somehow i miraculously got a hold of my pain i have no pain if i touch really hard back here it hurts and if i touch in here or I scratch, I'm howling. So that nerve pain is still there. But I don't touch those things because they hurt. <laughs> so what I do instead is uh, I focus on my massages and do all the stuff. There's no movement. Nothing's happening. Three, four, and five. I have, from the ENT, 5% movement up here when I do this. Ready? Hold on, let me take off. No, I'm gonna keep my tape because it's easier for me to talk and then I'll put it back on at the end. Why don't I do this right now real quick? I'm gonna take off my tape. Let's do the up, down, side motion stuff. Let's show the first time I did it, second time I did it, third time I did it, put them together and see what we got in the difference. Let me show you the lack of movement that's happening. Okay, be quiet. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, that should be 5% up there. Don't know what 5% means. Blink, hard as I can. Uh, kisses. Smile. Big smile. Ah, see how my nose is going that way? Isn't that crazy? Blow bubble. Let's do a whistle. I can close it, but when I laugh, food comes out, so. So the other thing is, look at my nose. Pull your nose that way. Pull your nose that way. All right, nose goes this way. When I laugh too hard, when I express too hard, my nose starts going that way. So what I try to do is ventriloquist, let's go that way. When it does go that way, I bring my muscles in and I push them this way and it should correct it. Sometimes you have to go deep better. I try not to, when I don't have my tape on, tape solves this for me. So when I don't have my tape on, it leans more that way. When I talk excited or laugh, I'm a loud laugher. When I laugh loud, I try to laugh quiet during this, it just doesn't work. I laugh that way and uh, everything moves that way and I can feel it, it's really stress. It feels stress, it feels tight. This side tightens up because it's working to move it all over this way so I can talk better. So this is what I'm trying not to do because I can talk really well if I do like this. Go back to the center, come back in. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk like this. Try to, see, do you see my lip trying to go more that way? It's trying to take over for the compensation of not being able to form the words on this side. Try to talk like this. 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 
This side's just dead. It's 1%, but it just... Wake up! Wake up! It'll wake up soon. Wake up! See how my... See? <laughs> you see? Do you see? Okay. Okay, okay, look. Honestly, when I'm saying you see to you, I'm saying you see to me. Okay, hold on. I got my eyebrows down, just chilling this guy out for a second until this guy catches up. When this guy catches up, then we start working together of what symmetry looks like. Right now, chill, ventriloquist. So from week three to week four, this, when I go like, okay, look up, uh, uh, try hard, uh, try real hard, I'm trying! <laughs> That's a 5% movement. That's weeks three, four, and five. Weeks three, this was a 5%. This was the close, I'm closing, I'm cl close harder, I'm closing! It's close, I see nothing! <laughs> this was, I believe, the first week, so it was a 1% and then it moved to a 5%. It moved to a 5% on the last week four and week five today. It was still at 5%. This one's been the kicker. Okay, blow a kiss. Much better. It's easier for my tape. It's hard to tell because I've got tape, but much better, right? When you pull it back, it's so much easier to speak. Get some tape if you're doing this. This will change your day-to-day -day life. Blow a bubble. <sighs> That's getting better. He asked me today, how is my time doing a straw? And I don't really do that very well. That goes in the back, because the straw goes right here. I'm able to suck on it just fine. Girl, go here. That's even with tape holding some pressure. I look how dark on it in one. I have not gotten one lick. There's nothing coming out. I've literally not tried to do this until right now. <laughs> Here's the other thing. You can't make me laugh. My son made me laugh while I was eating Thai soup and literally half of it was on the ottoman. Half of it. Because what doesn't work? This side. This side was at no percent up until the third week. I had one percent. The skin looks good, he said. If the skin looks good, that means you got something going on in there, so that's great. It's not dead skin. Skin looks good. Skin looks good. Skin looks good. So he always mentions how good my skin looks. The thing that changed, though, was week four. This had 1%. Now, I don't know what 1% means, but it's a jump from 0%. You feel me? I go in today for my five week, and it's 1%. So then we have a conversation. Now, we've already had this conversation. I already know a lot. I've been doing a lot of research. I actually went to broadcast journalism school. I majored in something that I don't remember, but it had something to do with something. I personally do not like broadcast journalism. It's stressful for me. <laughs> it wasn't my cup of tea. So I went to production instead and I do video production. And that's how all this kind of came together that I could kind of help in what I do and what I know really well, which is video. And uh, in my learnings through my husband and my learnings through what I learned in school those many, many decades ago of uh, journalism and how to get information and where to get your information and how to bring it all together in a neutral stance so that it will come out neutrally so that you can do it for your own, take your own thing. Where was I? Okay, so I went in for week three and he talked about the three types of paralysis. He was a little bit nervous to tell me this, but mind you, I've already seen it, done it, all, all, all of it. So there's three types of paralysis and I, and I printed it out really big because my eyesight's wacky right now. I'll put little things on my new little monitor back here. <laughs> I realized that I could use it as like a little display so I angled it a little better so I can put more info there because I talk a lot. But there's a lot of information. Just pause it, read it if you need to, and uh, absorb it. And then go research on top of what I'm doing if you're using this for your own. This is merely information. This is how I tell my son when we're giving him ideas. We're like, sweetheart, you do not have to take our ideas. You don't. We're giving you information. That information you're going to put in a little bucket. You don't have to say, yeah, I'm going to do that. We're not looking for that. Or you don't have to say, yeah, I have to do this because you said that. We don't want that at all either. 
You're just giving you information for your bucket. So when you go and work on whatever it is you're working on, you take that information and you look through and say, can that help my project? Can that help my problem? Can that help me move forward? And if it can, then you take that little piece of information and then you look at it and then you examine it, you assess it, and then you go from there. Do your own research on every little bit of information you have. My ENT, I love him. He says that there are three types of paralysis. And if I butcher these names, I don't care. Neuropraxia, neuropraxia, neuropraxia. That's the first stage. Recovery starts within six weeks and is usually completely recovered by three to four months. That is considered to be 95% recovery. Now, what I didn't know is when I heard 95% recovery, I thought 95% of my face is going to be recovered at that point. Then I found out 95% of the people that have it will have a full recovery and that still varies all the rest of it. Honestly, I'm still confused. <laughs> in here like I no. I'm like, no, still confused. Can anybody add any highlights to that and let me know about that one? Because that'd be great, thanks. Okay, the second one. Oh, this one's hard to say. Axonotomosis, axonotomosis. If it hasn't started by three weeks, it won't start recovering until three months, but will probably be completely recovered by six to nine months, 85%. See, that goes back to the whole 85% of people that reach this stage will get to a full recovery. That's how I got it the first time. I think I got it, I'm pretty sure I got it. And that, that says that, I was completely recovered by six to nine months, okay? So the third one is neurotomesis. Neurotomesis usually starts by six months and may take a year or two to completely recover with a likelihood of complete recovery at about 50%. So. That being said, I am in the second stage and we kind of knew it. We, you could kind of feel it. Like, nothing's really moving. You get three weeks by in a period where you should have a little something, something. And the other thing is I follow a board and everybody's really active on there and honest about their journeys and everyone's journey is different. The worst case scenario in my mind is that I would have my face not come back. There is some really skilled surgeons there are some skilled plastic surgeons. There's a possible pain that might come. That is stuff that I can deal with. That is stuff that I can work with. I can work with that. As long as I can work with it and I'm in the mindset too and I have the tools to get my mentality through it because there's a mental health thing that comes with it that you have to be strong for stuff like this and you have to learn to get there. I'll be fine if that's the case. If I need nerve surgery, okay, let's go. Let's do it. Will it give me a little bit more movement? Cause better than no movement. Do I have something? Can I lift my smile? Can you lift it up so I can talk a little easier? Cause I don't mind that. Can I still do my art? Can I still pet my cat? You know, can I still love on my husband and my son? I can, I can cut half full. It's about perspective and what works for you might not work for me and what works for me might not work for you, but you have to find out what works for you, right? So that works for me and I'll be fine and I'm excited about it and I have progress and I have a new direction in my life and I love it. I'm slowed down and I'm happy. Okay, moving on. Because there's no change in a while, I don't have to go to as many appointments. So they're so tiring, not his, but like all appointments. I have two to three appointments a day, one to two appointments a day. I don't have appointments on the weekend and they're so nice. I can just relax. So I'm less appointments, so I'm gonna do less updates on the Izzy's. I'm gonna do more smaller updates than, than rather bigger updates. And I'm gonna be posting stuff like how to tape your face, how to massage your mouth, how to close your eye properly. All the stuff that I found. Do you have nerve pain on the outside? Here's something that you can use to help. Hey, are you thinking about lysine? This is what we found little videos for people to find in the future or people to find right now or the people that aren't on Facebook and can't go to these forums, they can go find those and get those answers that we found. I'll post links to stuff that they have found that have helped me and that I can send to you to help you and your family members or friends that are going through this or for you to send to your specialist that maybe don't know, hey, watch this. They did this in Austin, Texas. I'll be posting all of my meds on there. I'll be very open and honest with my recovery. I do have a different perspective on pain and healing and a different perspective on a syndrome and getting it. And that is one of a positive one. My eye's killing me. <laughs> the pain, guys, that this has, and it comes with different kinds of pain. It's just not one pain. When someone says it hurts and it's nerve pain, 
and it's a Rosium syndrome. There's like eight different places and eight different kinds of stings. It's not just one sting, it's like eight stings. It's really hard to describe, but it's stinging a lot, mostly like right in there. Okay, because I opened it too long with that video. Okay, on to help, to get help from other places. This is a book called Fix My Face. Fix My Face. Get this, there's two things about this book. When I first saw this book, my friend sent it to me, thank you. And it was got so much wonderful information. There are other parts of it that I'm like, ooh, okay, I get what you mean about acupuncture and adding, uh, and adding electrodes to it. I have my own stance on that after doing a whole lot of research, after talking to different acupuncturists, after talking to other people that got electro. There's something with electro. There's an acute phase of this and you should not be getting electro on past the acute phase. There's a special part where you can get it. And I think the reason why every one of these books and everything says, don't do electro, because that little detail is important and often missed. And if it's often missed, it's best for you not to touch it. I did a lot of research. A lot of people it helped. It's helping me, I believe and we'll find out as we go. We're trying new things. I've learned a lot of things. With acupuncture, we learned about a low-level laser. This low-level laser, we did it once. I don't know if it's gonna work. The idea of the low-level is it targets nerves, flow. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I didn't write down words on my little paper, so it's not all that together. On a cellular level, they can hit it better than something it's for nerve regeneration basically and to get the juices flowing that's how i got it okay this video looks different it's because i totally forgot and did it at the end but i had to bring it back in the middle right about here so here we are there's a site that you need to get help from it is a wonderful site it's the one that everybody has recommended on these forums and it is called what's it called facial palsy uk it's so good It'll give you all the videos, all the ones that I've learned myself about doing exercises and pushing up and bringing this down, all of those, the inside exercises, how to tape, where to go, what kind of information you need, what you need. It's very helpful. Between that and this book, you know who to contact. They'll tell you who to contact. That site will tell you who to contact. I'll tell you who to contact. The forums for Ramsey Hunt Syndrome, wherever you can find them, they'll tell you who to contact. They'll tell you what you need and what to look for. I'll also post a video on what to ask your doctors, your specialist, whoever can help you, because it is rare. Try not to take it out on them if they don't know. It's rare. They don't know. Just leave. Don't get frustrated. Try not to. You need your strength and energy to find the person that will help you. If they will not and you are not getting any help, do not spend your energy, your negative energy. Don't spend it on that. You don't need to. You don't have the energy for that. Move on. Find the next person. You're on person four. Ugh. I'm with you on that. I had the same issue when I was looking for somebody who would prescribe me a negative 0.5 contact. Talked to five different people. They didn't say no, but they didn't say yes. And they couldn't get me in immediately and I needed immediate. I found someone and it took five tries. And I was very tired that day and I was frustrated, but I wasn't upset because at the end of the day, I had a contact and that's what I needed. Advocate for yourself, that's what that means. You're tired, you're gonna be. Release it, let it out. Go get what you need to get. No one's gonna get it but you. No one's gonna get it but you. Go get it, find it. Learn where to go find it. This book will tell you. Facial Palsy UK will tell you. Ramsey Hunt Forum, people that are in there, ask them, they'll tell you. You know what else you could do? Go to those forums and say, hey, I live in this city. Do you have anybody you can recommend to me? That's it, that's all you have to do. Oh, Papa. Go to the forums and go to the search. And in that search, type in your city and see if there's any recommendations. Type in your city and type them in recommendation and see if there's any recommendations. That'll get you there. Okay, go back to where it was. I added lion's mane. I actually got something called Genius Mushroom. It has lion's mane, reishi, and cordyceps seministus. It's also for nerve regeneration. I talked to my ENT about, I'm going to my GP uh, today, actually to get blood drawn, I'm gonna start having that done normally just to make sure that all the things I'm taking, I'm doing good. I've been taking an antidepressant Lexapro for many years. It changed my life, honestly, because I suffer from anxiety and it was enough of a change for me that was able to switch my head and allow me to do stuff. And at points it was debilitating, but then I could do stuff again and I'm like, yay, I'm back, I'm myself. And so with that and the GABA, I was like, why do I need to take GABA if that's good for anxiety? 
wouldn't that be good for your antidepressant? It's along those same lines. And I researched it, what do you think? And you know, he couldn't really tell me much about it, but at the end of the day, cause it's not his section with Alexa Pro, at the end of the day, we both were like, you know what? I'm on cruise control, everything's working. I'm not gonna change a thing. I'm gonna stay on everything because it's all working. What we are doing is we're starting to taper the steroids. I won't talk as much. My mouth is tired from talking so much and thinking so much and doing so much from the steroids, it's crazy. It's tapering and it's a crazy slow taper, like 90% one time, 80% another, 70, 60, 50, oh, I don't know so that it, my body can get back to its normal cycle of accepting this pain and working with it and tolerating it from what I gather. So what he also did have to say about GABA that I was unaware of is we are actually working on, the GABA for me wasn't for anxiety, but it was for the, the nerve pain and the nerves. And not just that, it was for prevention of post neuralgia number darger stuff. I wrote it down somewhere. The post nerve pain. How it was also described to me, nerves remember. If you don't get that pain, they're gonna remember what that pain is and they're gonna let you feel what that pain is, whether it's the pain or not. Nerves remember, that's how I understood it. So get on the pain management, right? So we got on the pain management and what the GABA he was saying was doing is going to hopefully prevent further. Now listen on to this again. This is the other thing he was saying. He was like, look, there's no playbook on RHS. It's not that popular. So he can't come in and go, yeah, 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 let's do only this amount of this and only this amount of this and only this amount of this. He can't do that. Why would he do that? He doesn't know how I personally am gonna react to it. He doesn't know how long this virus is gonna stay with me. He doesn't know if that virus wants to come back and hit me in the face again. So he's taking a stronger approach to it and and what I've been reading, that's what that's what people have been doing is taking a stronger approach to it with stronger meds to make sure that this virus is just flushed out so that I won't have all of that stuff, which is amazing. So now that I'm at week five, he wants to taper down very slowly and we'll see what happens and hopefully everything goes well and the pain doesn't come back. Don't have tinnitus anymore. I found out it was tinnitus and not tinnitus. I thought it was tinnitus my whole life. It's tinnitus, I think, hopefully. My ear gargle, it's gone. I can listen to ear pods, my energy, <laughs> I have it. I mean, it's tired, but it's there. I can jump with my kid. I jump with my kid every day on a trampoline. It's so fun. It's so much exercise. It's a good bonding time for us. And I haven't been able to do it for a long time. And now I'm doing it again and it's amazing. I've changed my diet. No more white stuff. Okay, some white stuff. That Oreo shake didn't count today. I deserve the Oreo shake. I had a really good day today in a meeting and, and just understanding. I'm trying to take out milk product because it's inflammatory. I'm trying to take out um, other inflammatory foods, which are typically white stuff, and changing them with brown stuff, adding other stuff, and still learning about my stuff. Checking my poop. You gotta make sure your poop's normal. <laughs> just gotta get it normal. <laughs> Do your best. If you're clogged, take a dose lax. Unclog. If you're runny, slow down on that magnesium glycinate. <laughs> no, citrate. Citrate makes it runny. There's a thing too. To find out what your length is, my uh, acupuncturist, I love her. She she taught me this. So you take a little bit of, uh, what is it? It's citrate makes you, makes you go runny a little bit. So you start with one and then you wait four hours and see what happens. Nothing happens, oh, you're good. Go to two, the next four hours. Got anything? Nothing happens? Oh, a little poo, great. We go to number three, diarrhea. That's too much. <laughs> go down half a step. Next four hours, go back to three. Feeling good? Everything's cool? Three is your man. <laughs> that worked. Four is too much for me. <laughs> Way too much, it was medical awful. Okay, that is it for me. That's everything on my list. I'm going to take a pause. If anything happens, I'll be back on with smaller videos to let you know, keep checking in. And that's it for me for the Izzy's with my Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So if you wanna keep up with me, follow me on my page. What did I call it? My face is broken. It kinda is, kind of, it's broken, my face is broken. I'm not gonna do as many of these longer updates. They're gonna be smaller, or I will do a big one when I have a lot to talk about. But if I have any more findings, I'll put those there. But I'm gonna do a lot of tinier ones to kind of help people with it. Oh, and my little baby's ready to go. Oh, come on, I know. You've been so great. Look at how funny. You're ready to go, and I'm ready to go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for following me and staying with me this whole time and ranting with me and just giving me your positive feedback and your help and just, it's all wonderful, 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 wonderful stuff. It's been amazing. Take care of your mental health. I am taking care of mine as well. It's very important, especially 
Now with this, it will test you in week three and four. It will test you. Didn't test you? Teach me your ways. And it may not test you, but if it does, know that we're all being tested and we're getting through it and we'll all be fine, all right? I'll see you guys very soon. More Izzy's content coming up. Our schedule's gonna be a little bit slower now. I've got to take it a little easy. We're gonna be doing two uploads a week, hopefully. But I'm also gonna be uploading to Cooking with Strider. So go get that checked out. And help me get monetized on that channel. I'm this close. <laughs> this close. Go over there, please. And then go over and watch Mew Mew. We're gonna start doing more stuff with her because I have some ideas and they're low and they're chill. I'm gonna start doing more Lego because they're just therapeutic and I can sit down and just focus and have some fun stuff. So it's gonna be just a little bit more chill for right now. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me. Thank you for your well wishes. <laughs> Thank you for your emails. I read every one, every single one. And I read them again and again. <sighs> I cannot express to you my gratitude. Thank you. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>